Leslie screwed us over. <laughs> I can't even I can't even say words right now. How did I screw us over? How do you not know? It was like ten minutes ago. Well, it's travel day again, and we're making our own luck. Are we now? We're still embracing the suck, but we're making our own luck because we're supposed to leave tomorrow. Mm. Yeah. And tomorrow is 99% chance of rain, heavy storms, wind, potential hail, could be like tornadic activity. <laughs> Big words. Look. <laughs> Sometimes I pretend like I'm just a dumb hick, <laughs> but I know stuff. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, changed our plans. So we're moving today. Today is supposed to be sunshine, high of 80. So we figured, Opposite of tomorrow. Yeah. We'll travel today. We were only supposed to stay one night at yeah. Lake Tawakani, and that was just to break up our trip from here to get over to Texarkana. Mm -hmm. But now we're leaving today. We'll actually be over there for two days. Yes. But tomorrow we're just not really going to be able to do anything. Sit there and ride the storm out. Uh -huh. um, Scout's excited. Oh yeah. Let's see, it's all over his face. Hey buddy. Ready to travel? <laughs> uh, pass. <laughs> okay. Um, but we will have to hit the dump station before we leave out of here. Yeah. We haven't done that. In a long time. In a long, long time. Very, like over a year. We survived two weeks here with no sewer. Well, because they pump out. Don't give away our secrets. <laughs> I want people to think that we can do stuff. Oh, they know we can't do that. And now that. you just ruined it. No, everybody knows we <laughs> cannot go without <laughs> sewer. <laughs> yeah, we were here too. They only had to pump us out twice, twice. though. So well, we were it good. helped because we were going back and forth to my parents' house. On Stop the... ruining our secrets. <laughs> I keep making it sound like we're actually accomplishing something, and you're like, oh, but we don't, had lots no, of help. Don't get it twisted. We, <laughs> we stay here for four and a half I'm days. I'm like, we crushed it. She's like, yeah, kind of. <laughs> kind of crushed it. Had lots of help. Anyway. Maybe I could be more optimistic and positive after my coffee. Maybe I should have done this vlog on my own. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we're getting ready. We're heading out. I... I I'm hopeful that the shade is going to stay. We're going to do something different. I don't know what it's going to be yet. <clears throat> yeah, I'm still not optimistic on that. <laughs> because we keep doing the same thing and getting the, the same result. Down. So we got to figure something else out. All right, moment of truth. Did the shade fall? Let's play a game I like to call, Did the Shade Fall? All right, took us a half hour to get the pins in, this, in the stairs. And so now we'll find out if the shade fell. Didn't fall. Woo! But you taped it up a lot, huh? Looky here. There's some of the tape came loose. And this is our new air fryer, by the way. <laughs> Wrapped in a towel on the floor. Leslie wanted to leave it right there. And it would have bounced over here it, and broke the thing. You don't know that. And it would have bounced over there, smashed the TV. It, it would have bounced down there, put a gouge on the floor. It would have flew up out the back window. It would have dinged the bikes. It would have hit the car behind us. It would have been a whole like um, final destination deal, uh. just because you wanted to leave the air fryer right there. <laughs> <laughs> Leslie screwed us over. <laughs> I can't even. I can't even say words right now. How did I screw us over? How do you not know? It was like 10 minutes ago. We pull in, we find a perfect space. I back in beautifully. Probably one of my best back end jobs of all time ever. That's because- On my blind side, on my blind side. That is because there is not a tree in sight and Look, we stop taking whole, away from stuff. We had the whole field. Stop taking away from stuff. So we get I mean, back in. You had in. 10 feet, give or take, Look, on each side. You were bound to nail. Who's telling the story here? <laughs> who's telling the story? <gasps> anyway. Oh my God. Back to where I left off and was rudely interrupted. Uh -huh, I yeah. back in beautifully. The best I've ever backed in on my blind side before. We get out. Everything's great. 
we had no ish the blind didn't fall today and i'm like this is awesome i'm feeling like top of the world man and then i go to plug the uh power in and the pedestal's locked it's, and the meter's not on it's kind of like both our faults like, we both saw it we're like this would be great there's no obstacles you can back right in nobody will be around us this is perfect not a tree for when the storm comes tomorrow i don't know how i got my fault also <sighs> neither one of us looked at the pedestal anyway <laughs> i was like well that was one my one back in for the day i'm not He's only good for one a day. <laughs> <laughs> There's a space right over there, and it's not a back end. I mean, it's not a pull it's through. It's not a pull through. But it was. But today. guess what? Today that mug is going to be a pull through. <laughs> it sure was. So I'll show you our space. I'll show you where we're set up out here, and I'll show you where Leslie led us awry. And I'll show you where I came to the rescue and made sure that we had a great spot. Yeah. I don't like your storytelling. <laughs> I'm, I don't want to turn the camera off. I'm scared because as soon as I turn the camera off, I'm going to nail him with the bottle. There's no, there's no witnesses. <laughs> like, Dustin, blink twice like, if you're in, if you're if in you're danger. In <laughs> <laughs> well, this is the setup out here. Look at this. Man, this is wide open. And the reason that, that I wanted to do that uh, is because of the trees. I think I already mentioned that. I didn't want trees falling on the on the thing. But um, anyway, we started over here. And look, I backed perfectly into here, into this space. And then the pedestal is locked. So, and normally Thousand Trails is pretty good at um, bagging up the pedestals if they don't work. But in this case, they did not. So now, this is where we are at. We were over there and we're over here. And what I was talking about is, this is a back end, so you're supposed to go up here and back in again on your blind side. But um, today, <laughs> I don't know if you can see the, I don't know if you can see the marks in the grass, but today, she's a pull through. But it hasn't rained in a long time. It's really dry. That really is just, um, that's just where the tires press the grass down. It didn't make any ruts or anything. Had it been raining or anything, I would have never done that. Um, cause I don't want to tear up the stuff. I don't want to tear up the grass. I don't want to tear up the, the landscape, but, um, straight shot through there on that hard grass. So it's, it's fine. Um, but that's again, one of the reasons we traveled today instead of tomorrow, because tomorrow is 99% chance of rain and thunderstorms and all that stuff. And, oh man, that would have been really bad if we'd been traveling uh in the rain and go to set up and, and do the whole thing and the things locked and then of course i can't go through the grass because it'll be like a muddy mess and then uh, but to, to pull through here uh we wouldn't have been able to do i would have had to back it in a second time in the rain pissed off yeah that would have been a bad that would have been a bad travel day and because we got a cool um space scout can see out you get this big wide open field to look into and hopefully there'll be some animals maybe come out and see you, buddy. We'll see some squirrels or some deers or something. Hmm? Yeah. Man, it feels like forever since we've had a thunderstorm. It has been. We were out west, and I guess I guess the last time we had a thunderstorm was when we had the hail in Wyoming. Really, yeah. since then, with the whole time we we're out west and traveling back here to Texas, really not much of anything. A couple little sprinkles, really. Yeah. So yeah, this is actually uh, awesome. I mean, this is okay. <laughs> It takes a lot to impress me. I'm from Florida. No, what I'm saying, it's awesome to get to see the lightning again, get to yes, hear the I thunder do like again. Watching the lightning. He does not like watching Scout's the lightning. not liking it at all. <laughs> but this is the reason why we moved yesterday instead of today, because we would have been moving in this stuff here. Yes. Nice and soggy and wet. But, um, I don't know, we're kicking around today. I'm watching the Cubs game over here, watching TV over there, doing a little editing down here. Scout is, he was doing good. 
Till the boom boom. Till the lightning and thunder. He's <laughs> kind of frozen in there. Oh, Ooh, what's that? Did you see that flash? Woo! Yay! Yeah, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't think it works like it does like with a kid where you go, yay, boom boom, <laughs> and then that's how you kind of get them into no. tolerating thunderstorms. He's but not buying it. He ain't buying it. He ain't drinking the Kool-Aid, man. Oh, baby. Um, anyway, we're gonna go enjoy the thunderstorm. There's not uh, there's like a tornado watch, but no warnings or anything and most of the big not stuff is up north There's a big big storm system up north right now I'll yeah. actually I'll overlay a picture of the radar because it's Ooh. pretty gnarly. Whoa. That yeah. was a beautiful Woo. bolt. Oh my god oh, That oh, went purple. It was I thought it was closer than it looked. No, it took it was, forever for the thunder to get here. It was right over the water. That was pretty. Yeah We made it. We survived we lived. We livers. <laughs> livers. Oh, that sounded like the organ. The chicken livers. liver? <laughs> <laughs> the storms got way worse than what we showed you before, overnight. Yeah. Couldn't show it because it was dark out here. But it kind of blew past us pretty quickly mm -hmm. and then just kind of hung out. Yeah. It was... Um, a little after 11 at night, maybe, that it got past us. Yeah. <clears throat> I woke up this morning, and Texarkana is only like two and a half hours away from here. And the storm is still over the top of them. So, But from 11 p.m. last night till 9 a.m. this morning, yeah. it still hasn't gotten past them. It's just kind of just... Hovered. Hanging out. So they're taking a beating. Yeah. Oh, it's travel day. You ready to go? No. Get out of my tank. All right. <laughs> now the park we're going to has power. We called and made sure the storm's past them. So now we're going to, it's about, it's about 10 to 11 right now. Leslie's cleaning the windows so that we can share some lovely views out the windows as we drive. Maybe of like fields and cows and whatnots. Or if the storms were bad enough elsewhere, we might see storm damage. Might see some storm damage. Yeah, anyway, man. Leslie will point the camera out the window as we go. <laughs> Not the whole time, that'd be a little boring, but yeah. um, here and there, if we see anything cool, she'll yeah. point the camera out and show you what it looks like when we get there. The spot we're going is all gravel. Yeah, it's probably gonna be muddy. It's gonna be muddy. Ugh. But it's pull through. Ooh. Got that going for us. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah buddy. <laughs> all right, we'll see when we get there. Okay. Shade is still up. Absolutely nothing went wrong. The whole trip. Here's Scout on the floor. Hey buddy. He was gonna move. He was gonna move and I flipped the camera around and he froze. You going somewhere? Hey, where are you going? Hey. Here you go. What Leslie's doing? Cleaning? Yes. Always cleaning. Well, there's still sawdust that falls. There's still some. There's always going to be some. I'm not just going to let it sit on the counter. Anyway, we made it. I'm going to take you outside and show you our setup where we're at. It's not anything glamorous, but it'll get the job done for a week. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. I'm just happy that nothing went wrong. This is the second, <laughs> second travel day in a row where nothing went wrong. And a matter of fact, I'm gonna do a social experiment. Okay. I'm gonna do a social experiment because every time we have something go wrong and we post it on YouTube, 
we always get like a bunch of views on that video because I don't know if just people are curious about what went wrong. Yeah. Or if they just like seeing other people in pain and agony. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but this time I'm gonna put on the th I'm gonna put on the thumbnail. Nothing went wrong. And about half of you will watch this. <laughs> because nothing went wrong. There's no fun in that. Nothing fun to watch if nothing went wrong. Yeah. <laughs> for those of you who are watching this, thank you for seeing the thumbnail that nothing went wrong and still watching. <laughs> but when we got here, it was raining, so we didn't film a lot of coming in, but this is our spot. It's a huge space that we have here because there's a space here and there's a space here, but nobody's there. So we got this whole area wide open. It's pretty wide open way out there. There's cows way out there. Of course, the highway's right there. That's I-30, so it's decently loud. But anyway, we have gravel, so it's not like muddy, muddy. Um, pretty wide open. We are pretty close to the neighbor. This is not like a destination place, like an awesome campground that you want to stay at for weeks and weeks. This is, we're staying one week uh, because we're traveling from Texas to Missouri to see my parents. So we don't really need to stay anything fancy. It's just got to get, get the job done and have a place to live as we go like exploring week to week on our way up to Missouri to see my folks. But anyway, it's pretty tight on this side. And I guess if anybody comes on that side, it's going to be tight too. But, um, for now like i said it'll do well that's it that's our quick two travel days in a row yeah from the western side of dallas fort worth all the way to arkansas yeah <laughs> our kansas and nothing went wrong well minor little minor things what so we were attempting to shoot some B-roll on the way here. Oh. Now, that, now you're nitpicking. Now, hey, you, you got, are look, nitpicking. Did it go wrong or did it go wrong? <laughs> Be honest. It went wrong. It didn't go as planned. Is this payback for telling secrets when you on the last? Yes. <laughs> yes. So we're trying to shoot some B-roll on the way here to try to make this video a little more interesting. You're welcome. <laughs> and... <laughs> I was like, we're getting ready to cross into the Ar into Arkansas, so get the sign. Get the sign for a B-roll. And she's like, okay. So she gets the GoPro out. Well, then she gets her phone out, too, because she wanted to take a picture. For Facebook. For Yeah, for Facebook. And so I'm like, can you do both? And Absolutely. I was like, do you need me to hold the GoPro? Because I can hold the GoPro with one hand and like drive with the other without even just looking. Just, like, just hold it in the general direction, and it'll capture it. And she goes, no, I'm all set. I'm good to go. Yeah. And I was. Yeah. Until you weren't. <laughs> oh. We have picture. We have no video. It's not my fault that when you turn the GoPro on, you can't hit record right away. Yeah, you gotta give it a second. Because I hit it right away. And it wasn't recording. So I could get it back in my hand and balance the phone. I was holding GoPro stick and the phone is bracing my phone against the stick so it'd yeah. be steady. So, well, let me see how the picture turned out. Very well. Let me see. I think the picture looks very good. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Look at that. See that? <laughs> look. Here. Okay, because you missed it. Look. Uh, that's what it looked like going down the road. Yeah, that's what it looked like. Yeah. We're in Arkansas. Next time, maybe I should drive and you should do the footage. That I, shut you up, right <laughs> <in there. laughs> I could have held the GoPro. I, that wasn't the problem though. I could have held it. It's just GoPro needs to react a little faster. Yeah. And then the last leg, the last leg you messed uh -huh. up too. Cause we got here and Leslie goes to get into the shower and she's like, Hey, Water's not warm. What's going on? I said, well, I followed my checklist. I followed my checklist for outside. And I turned on all my things and did all my things and even clicked the hot water switch. But there's two. There's one on the inside. 
which is on her list. So I said, well, my switch is on. Your switch, however, is not. So guess who gets to take a lukewarm shower? Lukewarm was fine with me. <laughs> Because there was plenty of hot water still in the tank, so I made it. So you, then, on the other hand, had to wait a while. I had to wait, but I clicked on the button, which you didn't follow your checklist and click. And I took a steaming hot shower, which was very nice. Good. I'm glad you enjoyed your steaming hot shower. <laughs> I hope it scolded your skin. <laughs> Um, anyway, not a super exciting video, but hey, what are you going to do? They can't all be winners. That's right. <laughs> Look, I warned you in the thumbnail, nothing bad happened. And you watched it anyway, so it's kind of your fault for watching. <laughs> anyway, stick around for a few seconds. We're going to honor a fallen hero. If you want to get involved with helping us help veterans, everything you need to know is down in the description of the video. Appreciate you watching. We're going to keep trucking through Arkansas. We'll take you along. No. See you next time. <laughs> Bye. Bye.